Rescue crews continue searching for six construction workers after a bridge in Baltimore collapses. Someone is a billion dollars richer in New Jersey. What we know about the Mega Millions jackpot winner. Oh, and don't rain on our parade. Phillies fans are keeping a close eye on the forecast that could make or break opening day. Those stories and more on today's edition of The Lineup for Wednesday, March 27th, 2024. The Lineup is brought to you by TD Bank, America's most convenient bank. Hey everyone, I'm ABC 10's Keith Jones. And I'm Francis Wang. Let's get you up to speed with what you need to know today, starting with that devastating ship crash that sent the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore crumbling down. Yeah, the goal for divers today is to recover the bodies of six construction workers who were on that bridge. Here's what we know so far. Surface ships, they're circling the water, looking for those victims. The Coast Guard says cold water making that search effort more difficult for divers. Officials say a mayday call from the ship just before the impact may have saved even more lives. Hold on traffic on the key bridge. Uh, there's a ship approaching has just lost their steering. So that until you get that under control, we gotta stop all traffic. Mm. Hours after the crash, rescue teams quickly found two survivors using helicopters, boats, and sonar equipment. You can count on NBC10 as we continue to follow this tragedy in Baltimore. We'll have the latest information as we get updates on the recovery mission or anything else related to this collapse. Make sure you download the free NBC10 app to get instant alerts. It is almost officially baseball season, less than 30, uh, let's say 24 hours away, depending on what time you're uh, watching this, uh, away from the Phillies opening day at Citizens Bank Park against rival Atlanta Braves. Either way, it's just hours at this point. <laughs> right. Fans keeping their fingers crossed that we'll still be able to sneak the game in tomorrow despite the rain and the forecast. Matt Delusha outside Citizens Bank Park with the latest. Yeah, if you're thinking, didn't this happen last year? Yeah, you're right. The Phillies did postpone their game one day because of rain in the forecast. A lot of people might remember this tweet from the Phillies last year, postponing their April home opener and festivities one day pushed back. And as you can imagine that even with safety in mind, it does not sit too well with the fans who might have taken the day off from work to attend the afternoon game tomorrow. Uh, and people are sounding off on the possibility again. Check out a few of the posts on social media here's some of them uh, fans are hoping and praying that the rain holds off one person even saying that they're scared because they took the day off another saying that if the Phils do decide to move the game just do it with enough lead time to give fans a chance to change their plans but once you do make it into the games there are some new policies and procedures to keep in mind uh, just one that we'll mention for you right now is the bag policy things that are allowed inside the ballpark include clutch purses fanny packs and clear bags but they do have to be under a certain size uh, and this does not include medically necessary bags like diaper bags for example uh, but you cannot bring in non-clear bags including backpacks so just a few things to keep in mind but either way the ballpark as you can see it is ready to go for opening day whenever that happens to be in south philly i'm matt delusha nbc 10 news <laughs> and how perfect timing is this new baseball season new baby and we are not talking about the baby boy on your way keith <laughs> yeah a beloved philadelphia philly is about to become a dad again bryce harper and his wife kayla shared the exciting news in a post on instagram they're expecting baby number three Mom and dad captioned the photo saying three for three with a heart emoji. One of those photos we just showed you there. Harper's two kids can be seen on the beach holding a sonogram of their new siblings who are on the way. It is adorable. My you know, goodness. It's kind of similar to your announcement, right? But with, with your <laughs> with a, pet baby. My fur baby. Yeah, exactly. Baby. With Charlie, uh, you know, doing the grand reveal. <laughs> so that's great. We're so happy for them. It's yes. Nice. Happy for them and happy for Keith. Oh, thanks. Still happy for Keith. <laughs> Someone in New Jersey is about a billion dollars richer this morning. Who are you? Is it you? Call us. It, right. Exactly. Exactly. We're, we're friends, right? We're friends. Besties, in fact. <laughs> they won the Mega Millions jackpot valued at $1.13 billion. Wow. Here's a look at the winning numbers. 7, 11, 22, 29, 38, and 4. Check your tickets. We still don't know where in North Jersey or New Jersey the winning ticket was. So maybe North, Central, South. Let's hope South. Right. <laughs> Better <You'd>, chances <laughs> of being our friend. Right. If you didn't win the Mega Millions jackpot, you still got a chance to strike it rich. $865 million is up for grabs in tonight's Powerball drawing. So there's that. Maybe whoever won will say, well, we found out about the jackpot because of you. Yeah, so you we go. are going to share some of the proceedings. That's right. Yeah. Had I not been watching NBC 10, I wouldn't exact, know the winning numbers. Exactly. Boom. 
See, that's the, <laughs> that's the mental gymnastics we We're just did. We're manifesting. Right? <laughs> that's right. Hey, a popular cheesesteak joint making its comeback when gyms will rise from the ashes to welcome back customers. That's coming up. Plus, Dunder Mifflin coming to Philly. The three stars from the office headed to this year's Fan Expo. We're back in 30 seconds. Here we go. Here I go again. Introducing the all-new TD Clear credit card with no late fees and no interest, just a simple monthly fee. That's predictability, even when expenses aren't. Four dollars? That's bananas. It's a pair. Oh, man. The all-new TD Clear credit card. That's how credit can be unexpectedly human. Call 1-844-TD-CLEAR for details about credit costs and terms. Oh my goodness, Keith, I had a friend visit recently mm -hmm. and he yeah. said he wanted to go to Jim Steaks. Oh, and I said, oh, we can't right no. now. That's a shame. But Jim Steaks is counting down their return to South Street. The popular cheese, stock, cheese steak spot says it's eyeing a May 1st opening. There we go. It's originally looking to reopen last fall. The rebuilt gyms will be nearly twice the size of the old location. The owner oh. took over the property next door. It's been closed since that devastating fire back in July 2022. It took more than 100 firefighters hours to put out the fire. Investigators believe the problem was with the air conditioning system and it started that blaze. So your visitors got to come back right. all, after May 1st. And I love how they took the opportunity to expand. If we have yeah. to rebuild, we're just going to come back bigger and better. That's right. It's a good plan. <laughs> We've learned that three more stars from the hit show The Office are coming to Philly in May for the Fan Expo. That thing got torn off. Who told you that? I may have told some people that. Meredith, come on, you're obviously single. You know it. I am never getting married. Like Clooney. <laughs> Kate Flannery, Creed Bratton, and uh, Oscar Nunez will join Rain Wilson at the Pennsylvania Convention Center. The Fan Expo is considered one of the biggest sci-fi horror anime and gaming events to visit our area. Kate Flannery is Amazing. She's a wonderful human being, cousin to our very own Rosemary Connors. Too. It all makes sense. Yeah, yes. Just a wonderful family. Yeah, here's video from last year's event. Hundreds of thousands are expected uh, to attend the expo. It runs from May 3rd through the 5th. I always love seeing the creative costumes, too. And oh you know God, it's right? around because you walk around and yes. you see. Exactly, people dressed like, up. What could be in town? Hmm, <laughs> I wonder. All right, well, not in town. He's on the road again, coming to South Jersey. On the road again, right? You love that song. That's my favorite song. Music legend Willie, Willie Nelson bringing his uh, 4th of July picnic to the Camden waterfront. Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. The long-running concert tradition started 1973 and is usually held in Nelson's home state of Texas. Joining Willie in the lineup are fellow music legends Bob Dylan and Robert Plant. I mean, what a show. Jeez, tickets go on sale Friday. The concert is not tied to Wawa. Welcome America's July 4th concert on the Parkway, which you can watch right here on NBC10. And before this morning, Francis, you did not know that Willie Nelson was even a musician. You know, I've heard the thing. name. There you go. Um, but just very, very uh, not up to speed on, on legends of, of America. No, it was great. It was a lot of fun this morning. Got to catch it, 4 to 7 a.m. weekdays. Um, hey, and then there's this. We talked about this a lot. Titanic, great mm. movie for anyone Which who's I seen it. Which I have seen. There you go. For right? the record. That's right. The uh, long-time question has been, could Jack and Rose have both fit on that door? Yeah, this is a, a back-and-forth debate. The real question, though, how much is the door worth? Mm. Well, the iconic movie piece, it just sold. For more than $718,000 I mean, at an crazy. auction for props. The event's highest selling item, there were 16 total props. And it was not the only prop there from James Cameron's Titanic movie made available. The dress Kate Winslet is seen wearing in the final act also went for more than $118,000. Oh. I mean, listen, it's one of these like iconic movies. It's like the movie of the 90s, right? One of the greatest movies of all time, in modern history at least. So I get that cost. I still think Jack could have fit on the door. <laughs> she should have just like kind of moved over a little bit. Right. I don't know, you know? If you really loved him, girl, you would have made room. <laughs> That's right. Okay? That's funny. You let go. Yeah, yeah. She did. Oh, she, she I don't know. It's great. You said scientifically, though. Someone did this test and yeah, they decided I, that I he could not I saw this have. just, I think, about a week ago, so it was very recent. <laughs> um, but that's what they said. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Who, the scientists. And James Cameron is very <laughs> what do they well know? thought out, you know, when it comes to, like, anything to do with water. And, you know, we we've saw him used as an expert, yeah. you know, during the, uh, you know, what happened there 
that submarine trying to get to mm -hmm, the Titanic. Mm -hmm. um, so he probably did his research and decided, oh, you know, only one person can fit on the door. What am I talking about right now? I don't know. I mean, if he made, if he made <laughs> such a masterpiece, we're just going to have to believe that he did the research. Either yeah. way, as I said, I do yeah. strongly believe that the back and forth debate probably added to the value yes, yes. of that door Absolutely. that just went totally. for so much money. 100%. So that's, that's where we're going to go with yeah, that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there goes my earring. That does it for today's edition of the lineup. That means go, yeah. go. We're going to be on the road again. For Francis Wang, I'm Keith Jones. Remember, you can get NBC 10 News updates right here on the NBC 10 app. Catch us weekday mornings, by the way, from 4 to 7 a.m. Did you get it back? It's back. There we go. Yay. There we go. Have a great day. Have a good one. <laughs>